Hi everyone, it's Thomas from Kovo. So it's tax season. In this video, we're going to show you how to declare your Tejiro account to the Belgian authorities. So let's get into it. The Belgian government actually requires you to declare all of your foreign accounts. We're not just talking about bank accounts, but also all of your investment accounts. This way, the actual government wants to really understand what profits you made from your foreign accounts. For example, the interests on a savings account or any dividends that you've made through stocks. The Giro does not offer Belgian accounts. Instead, Belgians actually have to open an account in the Netherlands, that's the Giro.nl, or in France through the Giro.fr. On top of that, your account is also partially registered in Germany since the Giro was actually acquired by Flatex Bank. This means that you have to declare your De Giro account as a foreign account to the Belgian authorities. You're probably wondering, what happens if I actually don't declare my DeGiro account? You risk actually getting a fine or even a tax increase. The National Bank of Belgium, the NBB, knows if you keep it quiet because they get the information from other countries. So it's a bit strange that you need to declare it, but the rules are the rules and bureaucracy is really rational. So there are two steps to declare your DeGiro account. You need to complete these two tasks. So the first one is you have to declare your Tejiro account to the National Bank of Belgium. So this, the second one is then you have to mention your Tejiro account every year on your tax declaration. What I'm going to show you now in this video is a step-by-step -step guide on how to do each of these tasks. So the first one, when you're declaring your account to the National Bank of Belgium, it's really quite an easy process. Once you've opened your account to Jiro and you've started your first investment, you'll have to declare your account to the CAP of the National Bank of Belgium. I'm gonna put the link below in the show notes so don't hesitate to look at it. But fortunately, you only have to do this once. But the easiest way is to do it online through the website of the National Bank. This is the method that we're gonna show you below in this video. So alternatively, you can fill in a paper form that you mail or email to them. But step one, head to that website uh, it's at capcc.mbb.be and continue with the login. Um, the second step is really logging in with your It's Me account. Then the MBB actually uses CSAM, which is the main gateway um, to the services of the Belgian government. So you actually might recognize the interface from when you're declaring your yearly taxes. The third step is to actually choose your preferred language. For the screenshots, we're going to use Dutch for the rest of the steps. The fourth step is to actually go to the declaration of foreign accounts. So you actually go to this section and then step five is actually where you're adding a new account. Step six, you add the Dejiro account. So you fill in the following details. At the top, you've got the username of your Dejiro account. You can actually find this in your personal settings in the Dejiro app. Then the next uh, line to fill in is actually just the Giro BV, so that's the name of the financial institution. Then the next box is obviously Nederland, so that's the country where the account was opened. For example, if you opened it in France, you can put France, uh, but that's entirely dependent on where you opened it. Obviously, then the next step is to put in the year of when your Giro account was actually opened. Um, then this box to fill in is add the year you closed your account in case you actually closed the Giro account. That's obviously an optional um, option for you as you're declaring your account. The following step, as you can see on the screenshot, is actually to put the last taxable period in which the child's income was added to that of the parents. This is only relevant if the account is actually held in your child's name. So you can ignore that if the investment's all in your one. For the big code, leave it empty. For the streets uh, and the number, obviously I put the address here, but double check with the Jira to make sure that it's still correct one. You have to put the region, North Holland, then you choose the country, Netherlands, and then you press OK. So then step six is actually to add your Flatex account. So when you opened up that account with the Jira, the Jira holds your investments, but Flatex, the bank, holds your cash. So you also need to declare your German Flatex account. So add another account, fill in the details of the Flatex account. And <clears throat> again, similar to the last step, you press OK. So you put in the IBAN deposit account at Tejiro. You can find that in the section of your Tejiro app that explains how to deposit money onto your account. The next step is to put Flatex Tejiro Bank AG. Again, that's the name of 
the financial institution for the country, put in Germany. Uh, that's obviously where the account was open. That's Flatex German Bank. Then, of course, the following step is the one where you have to put in the year when your Dejiro account was actually opened. Um, so that's the year where you, you opened it up. And then, of course, if you're closing the account, add the year where you close your account. In case you close your Dejiro account, obviously it's purely optional. Then the next step, on, as you can see on the screenshot, is if you had any... You know, when was the last taxable period in which your child's income was added to that of the parents? Once more, only relevant if the account is actually held in the child's name. If, you, if it's in your name, just ignore that. Here's the big code. Obviously, uh, you have to put that in because it's the bank account. The street and number, so you can see the address. Uh, obviously, it's based in Frankfurt and the region of Hessen, and it's in Germany, and that's the last step. Click that confirm button. Right, confirm, you're all set now. You may also even download the PDF for your archives, which is always helpful to keep a copy at hand to, to make sure that you've actually declared it. The second task then is to declare your DeGiro account in your yearly tax form, as well as declaring your DeGiro account to the National Bank of Belgium every, you know, once you also have to declare in your yearly tax form, so that's every single year. We know it's a bit stupid because you've already indicated to them that you have a foreign account, they know you have one, but either way, it really has to be done as you don't want to face a potential fine. And you have to make this declaration yearly as long as you still have uh, an active account with the Jiro. So the instructions, they're here on the screenshot, you have to check the box uh, 1075, add an entry for your Tajiro account, so obviously your name uh, plus the Netherlands plus check the box and add an entry also for your Flatex account, so again your name, uh, Germany and then check that box. Then what you want to do is to make sure that you're actually um, checking uh, this account, you can see it's in Dutch and in French, um, it's basically asking you uh, if you've communicated uh, everything to the National Bank about this account already. So yes, you want to make sure that you do check that. And that's it. But then when do I have to declare my Tajiro account? This is an often a question. It's important you declare your account to the MBB as soon as you've made your first deposit towards your account. Um, it's very important to keep on top of it and also to make sure to do it before you file uh, your tax declaration for the year. For example, if you started investing in November 2022, you're going to want to declare your account before you file your taxes in 2023 for the year 2022. Another question we often get is what taxes do I have to declare with the Giro? So the Giro does work well for Belgian investors because they handle the Belgian transaction tax. That's also known as the TOB or the Bourse tax or in French the taxe boursière. And so every time you buy or sell something, you have to pay this tax, which ranges from 0.12% to 1.32%. So DeGiro actually makes sure to pay and declare that tax for you. DeGiro also covers the dividend tax, which amounts to 30% on any dividend that you perceive. This honestly will save you considerable administrative time if you invest in individual stocks or distributing ETFs. However, the Giro does not cover the tax on capital gains on bond funds. This is also known as the Reinders tax. So there's actually a 30% tax on the profits you make when you choose to sell the bonds in your portfolio. The Giro really pushes responsibility onto you for declaring the right amounts in your tax declaration. You know, we've actually recorded another video about Belgian taxes. If you want to learn more, I'll link it in the show notes. Make sure you take a look at that video for yourself to really understand it. So to conclude, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I walked you through declaring your Tajiro account to the National Bank of Belgium. Obviously, just to reiterate, you have to do two steps. First one, declare your account to the National Bank of Belgium, and then make sure you declare it every single year on your tax declaration. Managing your own investment portfolio can be cum cumbersome, uh, when using a broker like Dejiro and if you still want to invest but you're unsure or you're looking for something a bit easier, do take a look at the app that we've built, Covo. There's plenty of information online, but take a look at our website. I've linked it as well in the show notes. 
All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for another video.